Hi, this is Cindy Jiang Oak reading from my book Ward to Ward, which is the 118th volume from the Yale series of younger poets. This poem, Homeward, from Ward to Ward, can be read in multiple ways as it's set up in stanzas that stand alone and are set up as a blueprint of a hospice word room. So I will read it horizontally and then I will read it vertically. Homeward. Where was I to look? Patients laid along both long walls. There were nurses scattered, weaving through the patients, my Weharaboji's arms tied to each side of his small bed to prevent pulling of tubes out of his long arm, white gauze wrapped so taut he could not lift his hand. Walking down the small halls created by the elderly bodies, any bed might have been his. My eyes tossed well between skinny plots, my breath held to avoid their contents, slow molding. I had not had to search for that face, the smile that declares. His two detained liabilities were so thin to me, a stranger holding his hand. Their theory, our elders are less lonely in these rooms of sweat and whimpers. I dream of him for the first time, months later, silhouette body filled again, strong and smiling as we clutch. In months, he would be dead in every way, but I would not fly out because of my school schedule, the cost of travel, Across the northern border, his other descendants picture him at 30, father, frozen. Homeward. Where was I to look? Patients laid along both long walls. There were nurses scattered, weaving tubes out of his long arm, white gauze wrapped so taut he could not lift his hand. Walking down the skinny plots, my breath held to avoid their contents, slow molding. I had not had to search for his hand. Their theory, our elders are less lonely in these rooms of sweat and whimpers. I dream of cost of travel. Across the northern border, his other descendants picture him at 30, father, frozen. In months, he would be dead in every way, but I would not fly out because of my school schedule. Through the patients, my Weharabuji's arms tied to each side of his small bed to prevent pulling small halls created by the elderly bodies. Any bed might have been his. My eyes tossed well between that face, the smile that declares. His two detained liabilities were so thin to me, a stranger holding him for the first time. Months later, silhouette body filled again, strong and smiling as we clutched.